Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and today I have the greatest of pleasures to introduce to you one of our really exciting partnerships, EasyViz. So those, those of you that don't know, EasyViz is a smart home solutions provider. Their solutions or their products are designed to sit within the same app, the EasyViz app, and some of you may already have experience of that with the EasyViz doorbell that we have been selling for quite a while, um, the Wi-Fi doorbell, um, very, very popular product. And there is a Smart Chime that is on order, so the Wi-Fi Smart Chime will be in shortly. But some of the other, other products in the range that we're really glad that we've brought in, we are gonna be stocking these items moving forward at DVS, so it's a really good opportunity to get involved in this. Their products are, sort of consumer-led um, security products, very, very powerful, uh, good imagery, very easy to set up, the notifications work really well within the app, and everything sits inside the same EasyViz app, which is very user-intuitive and friendly, and it's a very cost-effective product. Whether it's the C3X AI-powered dark fighter camera, they've all got Wi-Fi on them, so they're easy to plug in. Uh, some of them are battery-powered, which I'll show you shortly, but, you know, 12 volt, Wi-Fi AI powered dark fighter camera. We've got this C3A rapid deployment battery camera. Now this is fantastic. This is one product I think is gonna do really, really well. And it's something that we're gonna focus on shortly. Once we take some product out and show you, we're gonna be doing a, a, a demonstration on this particular product because I feel that has got a massive market potential. We've got this C3N Wi-Fi camera. We've got the C1C, so the indoor static camera. Um, they, most of them have got the microphone, two-way audio, it's got built-in speakers, SD card functionality, uh, the intrusion or line crossing ability on some of them as well. So they are really, really powerful. Um, smart fingerprint lock. So again, all app control, fingerprint enrollment as a smart lock. The WT2 uh, base station. C4W is another one. So that's the active defense camera. So it's got the built-in siren and strobe. Um, C3W. Again, integrated siren and strobe. So that's another one, C3W. So you've got a turret and a bullet version of that. And we've even got air purifiers. There's smart bulbs, smart plugs, smart relays, lots of things that are coming into this range to make a, a very good product presentation to your customer, to build up this um, consumer-led smart home marketplace. We're gonna pick a few products as the sort of weeks roll on. We're gonna concentrate on one product at a time. And today we're gonna to concentrate on the C3A products, I do believe that has got massive, massive market potential. So that's what we're gonna transfer you over to. If we have a quick look at what's inside, so best bit about this is opening the box always. So in the box, I love that sensation. That anticipation, there we go. So you have the camera. So inside, you have the camera. So very, very small in comparison to an iPhone. That's an iPhone 11, so you can see it is a small unit. You've got a standard photography um, screw adapter on the back, so you could put that onto a standard camera bracket. It's also got a magnetic adapter, so it's designed to screw the back plate to the wall. That magnetizes to it, so you can quickly pull it, um, easy to deploy, quickly put it off, change the battery or charge it up. There's a battery compartment, simply undo, and this is the bit I struggle with because I don't have nails. But again, battery slides in there, so you can see, inside the box you get uno battero and we do separate charges so that slides in simply as that the qr codes on the battery is also on the box as well so when you're adding it to the app it's very simple to do so battery slides in we do a separate charger so we do a desktop charger for these batteries so if you've got multiples of these um deployed across the site you can actually charge up a couple at a time and have them on rotation the battery life is very very good um in fact it can last weeks if not months if you set them up correctly there's a usb flap on the back so you can just take it off and plug it into the supplied usb charger it takes about a couple of hours really to fully charge from flap maybe six hours um and again in in the box oh there it is there's the magnetic holder so you've got some sticky velcro bases and you've got the magnetic holder there so this is the little camera um, you can see there base plate that fixes to the wall so that's a permanent structure that you screw to a wall wood even if it's a rapid deployment temporary then magnets in there with the dimple locator there and you can see you manipulate the camera into the position required you do have to put some considerable force to separate that um, not too far off like what a hard drive magnet would be so considerable force needed you've got the usb charging socket there if you want to leave the battery in and charge it via usb it's a simple pop down flap and then once you deploy it outside plug it back in 
make sure it's waterproof. On the top, you've got the sync button. You only need that on uh, initial installation. And you've got the separate the camera housing button. So press that, unit comes apart. You can see the battery is located inside there. And then that's it. So it's very simple to uh, use. What you'll see on the front then is the camera lens, uh, two megapixel lens. It's just going through its power up now, so it's uh, the red LED indicator, a PIR, infrared light, and the two-way audio functionality. So we're gonna transfer you over to the app now so you can see how that works. So screen shared now, I've already downloaded and registered on the EZViz app um, for iPhone, but again, Android as well. Download it, install it, register it, etc. Then once you've opened it, we're gonna go to click add device. So click add device, scan the QR code. So we're gonna open up the battery pack itself. Scan the QR code on the product. So C38, device is powered on, yes. Click next. We're gonna add a camera. Um, the base station isn't gonna be added. We're not using that anymore. So click on add camera. Now, when I first do this, I'm gonna press and hold this sync button on the top and it'll do a reset. Reset successful. You get that audio feedback from the product, which is really important. So we're gonna wait for this to start flashing blue. Currently it's going through a startup, so it's flashing red. So indicator flashes blue, Please get that ready. So you can see that's flashing blue, ready to go. Press next. So we're gonna put this within the same um, Wi-Fi as our office. So it's really important that your phone is in the same Wi-Fi that you want this product to connect to. So close that down, DVS image, put the right password in there. Um, then we're gonna go, just, it's not the right password. Click next. Click next to connect it to our network, yes, yes. Now it's gonna lose connection with the screen share a minute while it transfers the settings from my phone to this unit here, and this will give you some audio feedback. So it's already started, like you can see on the app there, it's already started to download the settings to this device. And this will give us some audio feedback shortly. There we go. So it's configuring it. This should work. There we go. And that's how easy this product is to add. So, so, device QR code save it, change encryption password, audio, time saving, daylight saving, day month year. So I'm gonna click next to that. Start testing. So basically I can actually finish this or start testing. When start testing, the device will make a, vo a voice prompt if motion is detected, so you can set the sensitivity appropriately. When exit the interface, the testing starts automatically. So I can test, I put it up to medium, click start testing. Here we go, so it's detected. So I can click now finish. Click finish and the product is now added. It tested it and it's fine. So next thing, if I click this three round radio dot button here, click it and go to settings at the bottom, you'll see there's a red dot underneath device version. Now, if I click on device version here, it'll tell me straight away there's an update already available for this. And yes, I do want to update it. It's always important that you tell your customers to update the product. It improves the performance and their interaction with it. So yes, upgrade it please and upgrade now. The EasyViz app will allow a couple of things. It'll allow you to send the video to the cloud. You don't have to, they do a seven day. As soon as you sign up for the EasyViz app, it gives you seven day free trial storage. Um, I've got this product at home and I use the app or the cloud EasyViz cloud for the storage medium. It depends on how long you want the retention and how many cameras you're adding to this, but you can pay uh, very easily through the likes of PayPal and set up a reoccurring payment. So I've got one camera home on a, I think it's a three day retention. It's a couple of quid a month. It does save it in the cloud. Part of that is the detection is detected and because it's battery powered, um, don't forget, being battery powered, it has to make sure the battery lasts long enough. So once the product is activated, it will then send that information to the cloud. 
um, which you can retrieve it. And depending on how much motion there is will depend on how big the video clip is. So you use your app to interact with that, if that makes sense. If you don't use the cloud storage, then you're not really going to be able, you get live view from it, but you're not going to get any recording from there. Just wait for that camera to reboot now. Go back to the live view. So, and there we go. So we're actually loaded on the live view interface. If I turn my phone that way, you can see the live view interface. You've got cloud play free trial. So if I click on the free trial there, you get seven days. So click free trial. Can you obviously free trial? Yes. And then recording. Yes. So recording on. So turn this toggle on here. I'm going to do a 30, free 30 day trial. So you get 30 d and then it's as low as $2.99 a month for the camera. Um, I'm going to do a seven day free trial, start trial, turn recording on. There we go. And we can accept the rest. Okay, done. So we're in a free trial period of seven days now. This camera is a two megapixel camera. You can see it's looking at my demo room. So there's not anybody sort of in. If I move the camera out and make it a little bit of a better um, image to look at. There we go. Um, a couple of controls on there. So if I go back to the three dots there, so the three dots and the more products you add, they'll just come side by side in an app, into the app. Really simple. So click the three dots and you go to settings. So audio is on. So I've got the audio that's using the built-in microphone. So you get video and audio. So I'm going to leave that on. Status light, you can turn that on or off. I like to turn that off, but you can leave it on if you if you require it on. Uh, I like to turn it off. I think it saves a little bit of power. Infrared light, you can leave it on or off. Obviously, it's important that it's on if you're going to leave it outside in a low light environment. But again, if it's good, strong street lighting or it's internal and there's good lighting in there, you don't need to have it on. And again, that will save battery life. Uh, so we'll leave that on. Alarm notification is enabled. Notifications schedule, you can enable that and then set the schedule to be only notified during certain hours and days of the week. So you can go into notifications schedule and then set that accordingly, 24-7 by default. Motion detection sensitivity is medium. Again, you can adjust it medium, high or low. And then select the mode, the audible mode. Click on that. And you've got soft, silent mode. So if you don't want it to be... So when some when movement is detected, silent mode, the camera won't make a noise. Soft is a soft warning tone, and then intensive is an intense tone. So it's louder, um, we'll get the attention of the person and hopefully scare them away. So we'll select that, yes, saved. Okay, so pretty straightforward so far. Auto hibernate, leave that on. After when it's enabled, after 15 seconds, the device goes into hibernation until the next activity. If you turn that off, it will advise you to leave the camera permanently plugged in, which you can do. But it's a battery powered, meant to be deployed in that manner. So we'll leave auto hibernate on. Battery gives me 99% remaining, and depending on how many activities are coming through, and if you've got the the sound, the IR light, etc., on, how many times you're viewing it, so you're dialing in to live view it, etc., will depend on how quickly this battery life. Um, depletes, but it will give you, you know, certainly a few weeks. Uh, I generally get, you know, more than a few weeks um, when I've got them at home. Time zone, daylight saving, date format, Wi Fi, cloud storage is normal. So, and again, you can go and pay for that once the subscription ends. Storage status, device version, image encryption, change encryption password, user guide about and delete device. Very simple to interact with, interact with within the device. So, go back to the main along the bottom here, you've got the notifications. So if I go in there, there's no notifications because nothing has been received from this camera yet. It hasn't picked anything up. And then this one is about your account. So this little account app here is you can set a picture, uh, my album, manage shared settings, account security, function settings, online help, cloud play feedback, disconnect third party account, so on. So function settings, device auto upgrade is disabled, save device parameters, and you can do the Wi-Fi configuration, check Wi-Fi, app mode, land view, lots of little um, app um things app, you know functions that you can set in there so manage shared device settings that's where you can share your device um with other app users so e other easy viz app users you can share that so if you're the owner of a property but you want to share it with your kids you can go in there they download the app and you share it to that registered user so again really powerful now what i will do is go and walk in front of this camera so we'll live view that now now because i'm doing a screen share it might time out because the wi-fi I'm using the Wi-Fi. There we go. In the Wi-Fi. There we go. In the Wi-Fi. So here, I've got the volume. So here, I've got the volume, so I can turn that down. You can see there. That's picking up the audio from the camera. You can see there. That's picking up the audio from the camera. So if I from the camera. Hello. 
Hello. So that's quite clear. You've so got a snapshot, clear. so you can you take got... a snapshot of the live, live view. Uh, cancel that. You can record it to your phone, so that's going straight to your phone. You can speak to it. More, if you see activity and you want to speak to it, you can press and hold this speak. Hold the talk. Hello? Please leave the area. We have spotted you and we're going to send the police. So you can see how powerful that is. To be able to talk to the camera, it's not extremely loud. It's enough to get their attention, especially if the camera's fitted in a sensitive area near the front door, near your vehicle, etc. You will, they will be able to hear that, and hopefully they will sort of vanish or, or disappear. And you've got the definition, which is the ultra H high def standard. So it's just the viewing definition. It is only a two megapixel camera. What I will do now is go back to this main view here and I'm going to walk in front of the camera to show you how the notification comes through and listen out for the tone on the camera. He says, let's make sure that's set. And our notification, our notification schedule, turn that off. Don't leave the schedule on because I didn't set a schedule. That's why it didn't come through. But it's important that the alarm notification is on if you want the app recording to work and for the camera to react to it. There we go. Now I go back. Now I walk in front of it. Listen for the camera and see the notification. Okay, so the PIR events come through. So open up the notifications. There we go. It takes a little while to come through when you're doing a screen share, but you can see the PIR event there. It's got a snapshot of the thing, but if I press it, it'll go into playback and you can see the timestamp from the camera. Press playback on the bottom. And then that'll give us our playback event with audio. Okay, so what you can do then is simply take a, you can record it to your phone directly using this or take a snapshot, or you can press the three buttons at the top, three little radio buttons. And then delete it or cancel it. What you can do is a timeline along the bottom. So see this timeline, pinch, and you can zoom in to get more control. manipulate that using a simple to scrub timeline so pretty straightforward um, that's the app very very intuitive I'm gonna go and turn the lights off so you can see the performance what it's like with the IR light on just in case you want to know for your end users or if you are an end user in the account management section here and if you go to cloud play cloud play subscriptions there's no payment history in there yet but that's where you'd find all of your, um, any subscribed cameras that you've added in and they will all be added in there. So you can actually cancel and change directly from there. Under the product and go to settings and go to cloud plate storage there. You'll see if you click subscribe, that's where you can use PayPal or like credit debit card to input and choose your plan. So that's how you choose your plan directly from the app for single camera or multi-camera. So if you have multi-cameras, you get a discounted rate rather than paying the same cost. So it's very simple for you to pay directly into that cloud through the app itself. Very intuitive, very easy. And you can manage it from in that cloud subscription area. Now, let me turn the light off in this. Just quickly go and turn the lights off. Okay, so if I press this now and see what it's like in the night, you can see there the infrared is now on on the camera. If I walk in front of it, and again, I've just turned the lights on. So if I go get rid of that event, go to the events, wait for these to catch up. You can see 
press on that one there. And this is the activation with the IR light on. There is some additional IR from other product in there, but it's still a very, very good usable image. And again, it is only two megapixel, but it, it's, it's definitely got its place in the market. Hopefully that will give you an idea of how good this product is, how easy it is to interact with. Lots and lots of applications for this little camera. So for domestic sheds, you know, garages, rapid deployment, lo lo the only limitation is your imagination, I guess. As long as you've got a Wi-Fi network already in place, and if not, just put a Wi-Fi router in for these to connect to, um, so they can connect to the app, then, you know, re really, it's a very good cost-effective solution. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay subscribe. We're really happy that we've brought EasyViz on board. We look forward to your feedback, and we look forward to working with your guys. Stay tuned. See you next week.